Hello audience. Today is 16th of September 2011, Friday. The time now is around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. This scenario presentation is going to introduce a new invention to you. It is a vehicle headlight. Imagine that now you are driving in a car, any one of you, or maybe you are riding in a car. So this 4 feet by 8 feet transparent plastic board in front of you will represent your car windscreen, alright? Please fasten your seat belt and let's start the presentation now, shall we? Oh sorry, you have no seat belt? Just imagine, okay? That's a crucial thing I need to inform you. As this invention is concerning vehicle headlight, so during this scenario presentation, three types of headlights will be switched on and they'll be facing to you audience. They are an ordinary car headlight with high beam, invention headlight, and an external high beam. They'll be switched on and they'll be facing to you audience. So if you feel uncomfortable due to these headlights are too strong or too dazzling, please close your eyes, alright? As you can see from the backdrop here, and looking at the size of these two cars, well, my height is around 183 cm, I'm about 6 feet tall. So looking at the size of these two cars, this is an almost actual scale presentation. It's just that the two cars are in a two-dimensional backdrop. This in presentation is going to show the difference of two different sets of headlights mounted in this box beside me, which is box 1. But this box 1 is only an experimental box, where in reality, this box 1 does not exist in the middle of the road. Okay? The first set is an ordinary car headlight complete with high beam placed at side A. Okay, this is box 1, side A. So this is side A. The other one set is the new invention headlight at above and an external high beam at below placed at side B. Okay. So this in representation is going to show the advantage of this new invention headlight as compared to the ordinary car headlight. And this presentation is best presented in a nighttime condition. So let's dim down the showroom lightings, okay? But first, I'm going to switch on the ordinary headlight on site A. Okay, just give me a minute. I'll go and switch off the showroom lightings. Okay audience, imagine that now you are driving on a trunk road in the outskirts area or in the countryside area where there is no street lamp along the road. When the ordinary car headlight is switched on, the illuminated area is covering the whole of the backdrop which represents the road ahead. When there's no traffic, we can switch on the high beam from this ordinary headlight on side A. This is high beam. Thus, the illumination is stronger and the illuminated area is further ahead. All right.
When there's traffic, then definitely we are to switch off the high beam and using the ordinary headlight again. Thus the illumination is back to normal. So this shows the duty of an ordinary car headlight on the road ahead. Now let me show you how this new invention headlight does the illumination duty. So this is invention headlight. The illuminated area is on the lower portion and towards the road sign area. It is somewhat like an L shape. Okay, somewhat like an L shape. Please observe this audience. The opposite driver in car Y is not disturbed by the strong ray of light. As you can see, the light is towards the lower portion and it's not disturbing driver Y. Meanwhile, you audience as the driver, you still can see the road ahead, okay, the road sign, and any object within this lower portion of the illuminated area. For example, my legs, and this jogging fellow's legs. And, the driver in car X in front is also not disturbed by the dazzling reflection from the rear wheel and side wheel mirrors. Okay. When there's no traffic, then we can switch on the external high beam on side B. Thus the illumination is stronger and the illuminated area is further ahead. When there's traffic, then definitely we are to switch off the external high beam and using the invention headlight only. Thus, the illuminated area is back to the L shape. So this shows the duty of this new invention headlight on the road ahead. Now allow me to ask you two questions. First, when you're driving a car at night, switching on the ordinary car headlight, what is the drawback of the ordinary car headlight to other drivers? For example, the drivers in car X and Y. Well, I would say the ordinary car headlight sometimes can be quite dazzling and disturbing to other drivers. Second question, if you are driving a car at night, switching on this new invention headlight, what will be the effect of this new invention headlight to other drivers? I can say the dazzling disturbance from this new invention headlight is greatly reduced as what you can see to the two drivers in car X and Y here, right? So now let's see how strong and to what extent the dazzling disturbance from the ordinary car headlight can be. Well, I would say it is to a very dangerous extent. Let's say you owe the audience to be the driver in car Y, which is the opposite traffic driver. But how? I'm going to turn the ordinary headlight to face to your side and switch it on, so you will become the opposite traffic driver of car Y, alright? Okay, the ordinary headlight is facing to you already. Well, this ordinary headlight mounted in box on, on side A, it's just an ordinary car headlight with the output of 55 watts and the high beam is about 60 watts. It is using a 60 oblique 55 watt 
H4 light bulb. And the power is supplied through a DC converter. So it's just like the one in your and my car. And you see this kind of ordinary headlight every night when you're driving at night. But if you feel the light is too strong here, just close your eyes, okay? Alright, the ordinary headlight is facing to you already, and now it represents the headlight of car Y. So you have become the opposite traffic driver of car Y. I'm going to switch it on now. Please get ready. Audience, can you see ahead now? Can you see me? Well, I should say I'm in a dangerous situation if you cannot see me. Am I right? What about the high beam? What if the driver Y mistakenly switch on the high beam all the way? I'm going to switch it to high beam now. Please get ready. Can you see me? Can you see ahead now? If you can't see me, that means it is dangerous to me and to you drivers. Am I right? Now let me switch it back to on a headlight. I'm going to cross this road, okay? Can you see me? Well, I think you can hardly see me when there is ordinary headlight or there is high beam approaching to you, am I right? That means they are both too dazzling to other drivers, right? Please hold up your arm ahead and use your hand to block the headlight like this. I think you can somehow see me, although it is difficult to see me. Now let me quickly switch off the ordinary headlight so it is not disturbing you to look at the road ahead, alright? However, I think it shall take you 2-3 to three seconds for you to get back your eyesight, am I right? It may take you 2-3 to three seconds, but you're driving, you know? You have to concentrate on the road ahead all the way, you know? You're driving, you know? So how? Don't worry. Now let me show you what is the advantage of this new invention headlight, okay? I'm going to turn this new invention headlight to your side, having it switch on, so it represents car wise headlight, okay? But be careful, this new invention headlight is having a strong power of output. It is about 100 watts, so if you feel the light is too strong, just close your eyes. Okay, let's get ready. Audience, please tell me, can you see ahead now? Can you see me? Yes, I think you can see me, although it is not very clear. Now let me switch on the on headlight again for you to look at the road ahead. Oh! That means you can see me just now, even without your car's headlight switch on, when this new invention headlight is approaching to you, am I right? So now I can say the dazzling disturbance from this new invention headlight is greatly reduced, am I right? Thank you. This new invention headlight is successful. But this doesn't end here, because I'm going to show you that the dazzling disturbance from the ordinary car headlight is to a really dangerous extent in part 2. Okay?